Hello, and welcome to part two of how to paint your very own Mr. T cereal box. If you missed part one, there should be a link to it somewhere. I mean, you would think, right? Well, I've been steadily drawing on my Mr. T box. Drawing, erasing, drawing again, erasing, etc., etc. And it's, you know, it's coming together pretty good. Let me try to get in close. You can see the letters. They're pretty light. You can kind of make out the M there. And it's like a rough draft of what the R is going to look like. <laughs> and the little Quaker man is going to go up there. And there's going to be a little Mr. T head right here, which I haven't done, or I haven't drawn the cereal yet, which is another one of the challenges. But uh, let me update my tools. Besides the uh, ruler, mechanical pencil, and my gummy eraser, I've also found myself using my T-square. And one other tool, I use this right here to do the little period after the mister. And I'm going to be using these paints right here. I get them. You can get them anywhere. They're like less than a dollar each and they have most of your colors. Now if I don't have the exact color I want I can mix colors also. And I'll be using that paintbrush right there for the majority of it. I'll probably use a bigger brush to fill in some of the large areas. But this is the brush I'll use for all the detail. And I've got my box set up on this spinning base here this is where I'll paint it. All it is is a scrabble board that rotates in this uh, non-slip thing here for like drying dishes or whatever. And I just put the board on there and it won't slide. But it can spin, it'll spin around and it'll help me when I'm trying to paint it. Okay, I'm done drawing on Mr. T. I'm ready to finish part two and move on to part three. <laughs> yeah, that rhymes. Okay. I made up all the cereal except for, you know, I, I, I looked at the box and did a couple of the big pieces that were in front, you know. And then I just made it up as I went along and just filled in the area. That's what I always do with the cereal part. And it's one of the most challenging parts because on all the cereal boxes, it's all pretty much drawn or whatever except for there's always a photo of the cereal it makes it a little harder to paint it you want to make it look real but I'm ready to take that challenge now and uh, this is the bigger challenge I think it's getting the Quaker man looking good that's what I'm really gonna focus on now there's more writing that goes here down here at the bottom of the bowl and here in the corner so that writing's small and I'll draw that writing after I color all the background. And uh, thanks for watching part two. Look forward to part three pretty soon because I'm really anxious to finish this and start another one.